So why would we want to prioritise? Well, I just want you to think about your own experience. What happens, how do you feel when, for example, the Netflix starter screen comes up? Do you scroll for 20 minutes and then give up and turn the television off and go to bed? Netflix has realized that this way of presenting options is too much for people. So now they put in algorithms that show us what are other people watching, what is their recommendations for you based on your previous viewing. Because when you're presented with a huge array, it's overwhelming and it's just too much. We have a very specific definition that we use. We use the ATAC framework, which is all about the audience, who we want to behave, um, who we want to engage with the behavior. We're thinking about the target. We're thinking about the action, what is done to the target item, the context, where the behavior takes place. That can be very, very important. And the time, so when the behavior occurs. So we build up a behavior by describing it using all these different elements. Who does what to what, where and when. So we can use a decision-making matrix in the same way for our behaviors. We can think about our behaviors in terms of the likelihood of their adoption by the target audience and the impact on the issue. And we can visualize that by plotting those scores onto a graph and then overlaying the decision-making matrix on top.